Hey, Viola Rules here, and I have webcam on today. Isn't it great? I'm back with more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. So in the last one, Suichi came to our room. It seems like he's been uh, mentally preoccupied by something. And I think, yeah, I trashed my room already. So let's just go. Couldn't remember if I slapped everything in here. Yeah. Hey, what do you want to talk about? That's I'd like to I'd like to talk to you in the library. Will you come with me, please? Oh, yeah, that's right. He wanted us to follow him to the library. Forgot. Okay, so I'll meet you guys at the library. You guys remember where it is, right? Okay, Suichi, what did you want to talk about? Like before, the empty library was filled with the scent of old, musty books. Okay, before I say anything else, I want you to promise me you'll keep this a secret. Okay? Yeah. Okay, got it. Suichi so looked relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began to explain in exacting detail. Remember. This library has books scattered everywhere, even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. So you're saying it's untouched? I like the music playing right now. Oh, that one? Huh, you're right. Hmm. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. Ooh, secret passage. Mm -hmm. You're right. What is this? I'm... I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. Like the great detective you are. This morning, I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. He then walked over to the bookcase, placed his hands between the gap. Wow. Ooh. So we sort of have beats from the first uh, first game, where there's a secret room that you're not supposed to be able to have access to. Um, and move the bookcase. Oh yeah, kind of like um, Kyoko's father's office was hidden behind the uh, bookcase or something like that, and behind a passcode too. Whoa, it moved? Yeah. It swings open. Look, there's a door behind it. Yeah, it's black and white, which means you probably shouldn't touch that. A door. Black and white door. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white. Just like Monokuma. Hey. Hey, do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? That's I think it might, but I don't know anything for sure. This door has a key reader lock. Has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. You can't? Is that all right? But the very fact this door is here makes me consider a certain possibility. There's a chance that one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. You think that's Rentaro? Huh? Huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? Uh, Wait a minute, what do you mean by that? Hey. It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If it weren't solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. True, and I see we're sort of taking beats from the first one again, like how Sakura was the spy for Monokuma. He could have just have the Monokos or the Etzeskals protected and keep it in plain sight. Hmm. However, I can think of one reason that the door would be hidden. For one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Um. Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group could be working with Monokuma. That's true. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions. I decided to set a little trap on this card reader. You know you're saying this in front of all the cameras that are around here, right? I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. Um. So, if we see dust on the floor, it means one of us used this door, right? Well, well as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But, but if it's true, then even if but then even if Makuma's gone, this isn't going to end, Kai. Uh, anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I'm, I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. You're being very cryptic and creepy, and that's usually the sign that somebody's about to die. Um, yeah. yeah. Then, well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. After putting the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. 
Hmm, so we have an interesting development. There's possibly somebody working with Monokuma. Um, I wonder who, though. Is that all right? Kaede, please don't tell anyone what I showed you. I don't want to cause a panic. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. You got it. Our lips were sealed. Having made our promise, we return to our own rooms. Okay. So does free time just not exist in this game? I guess not. We would have had free time by now if it had high monodam. Why are you here? Also, monodam can't speak, so... Um... Just one? Uh-oh. The other monocubs aren't here to bury Monokuma? Well, anyway, what Suichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma? It's just so hard to believe. But Suichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? Right. Then maybe I should believe it. Hmm, maybe. Monokuma Theater. Okay, I guess free time doesn't exist in this game. Wow. Wow, we're already out of material. Whoops. Like closing time at a sushi restaurant. When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. Yeah, you have a point? My memory has been awful lately. I wonder if it's because of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we on again? What material have we shown so far? Geez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they've released so many at this point. I think he's talking about games and the animes, which I haven't watched. Oh well, anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theater! Please send your your man the please send your manuscripts along with a one thousand dollar application fee. If your entry is selected, you will receive a one hundred dollar gift card. What a generous prize! Don't miss this opportunity. Send your applications today. Okay. And it's now morning. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, or sign or not. What? Why is Monodim the only one here again? Also, why are there puppets of us everywhere? I just now noticed that. Has that always been there? Hmm. I have an uneasy feeling. It's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still on my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Are they already gathered in the dining hall? Yeah. I guess I'll go for now. Okay, I'll meet you guys at the dining hall. Okay, here we are at the dining hall. Is everybody present? Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood. Looks like we're all here. Right. Man, for a moment I had no idea what was going to happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. That's right. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. Do you usually not brush your teeth by yourself? You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko. It is with you. Of course Praise she be to Atua. Praise be to Atua. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. I see. This Atua seems to act in secret a lot. Atua because Atua you. smells of danger. But when someone coming to get us? 100%. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. Is nobody else bothered by the fact that in the Mono Cubs announcements only Mono Dam has been present? Why the long face? Oh no. It's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? That is What do you mean? Never mind. Really it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Hmm. But is this really how this ends? Oh, uh, don't ask that question. Not thinking, I blurted that out loud and now everyone was staring at me. Look what you did. Um, I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. Oh. I wonder, do you wish the killing game would have continued? That's not no, not at all. Bitch. And then don't ruin our happy moment. Hey, Kai, I don't know what you're so worried about. But Monokuma's dead now. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know. Have you forgotten about the Monokubs, the ones who supposedly brought you here in the first place? Ha 
Hello. And that's my kid to appear, Kuma. Hello. And I don't know what this is referencing, but hello. Oh, what? <laughs> what a Kuma? He's still alive. No, no, are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ain't Monokuma, Kuma. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as Yokai. Call me Jiba Kuma, Kuma. Jiba Kuma? From now on, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Huh? Did I slip up? Uh, no, duh, you, you fraud. Go find another car to run you over, and this time stay dead. Oh, jeez. It's such a low-level cosplay, I can't bear to look. Haha, <laughs> she said bear. From an anthropological I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Man, you guys are buzzkills. I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me. Really this is why I hate teenagers. I'd have cash for days if I was you know, dealing with the under 10 crowd. Like I said, Monokum was not dead, of course. Hello. Jeez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Look behind you. Wait, what? Our father, who we thought was dead, is actually alive! Hey! No way! Papa Kuma's was too hip and modern to resort to the death is cheap trope. <laughs> the yokai did it. I bet the yokai did it. Yeah. No, that bit's over. Already over. What are you saying? It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. Don't make Monokuma smite you again. You should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, if Pamakuma's standing here, then whose body is in the stew pot? Whoa, which Pamakuma is the real one? No, they're both real. Hmm? Huh? But father, you said there's only one of each of us. We're unique, like snowflakes. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, there's only one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. Oh. Oh, the Monokas don't have replacements. Ugh, why do you get to have spares and we don't? Of course you don't get to have spares. Do you really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death is cheap trope? <laughs> huh? What does that mean? Got it. But now we know. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. I bet you that's what the black and white room is. That's where Monokum was being manufactured. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Get ready to get smacked for that. Or whatever this is. It is just weird. I don't like the sound effect either. Okay, thank you for stopping that. My Wait, I see you guys. I get so excited until I can't take it anymore. Yeah! You guys are so cute. Gosh, I just want to see what your parents look like. I mean, what? It was Wait, I'm your parents. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Continue? The killing game is going to continue? Mean. That's not the problem, donkey face. Oh, what do you mean the killing game is going to continue? I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. Oh, God. No, it's definitely not okay. If so, that's how it's going to be if we want to end this. We have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not mind. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising. 
You're, you have a point there. Is that so? Then do you also assume this next exciting? Did you also assume this next exciting development? Which is. Additional motive? An additional motive? A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by night time, okay. from now, taking from the first game with the time limit for when he was going to release their secrets to the world, but continue. Student participating in this killing game will die. Well, that's a much higher stake than having your secret Move spread to, to the uh Okay. So unless you wanna end up as pink smears, <laughs> nice reference to the fact that this game uses this pink game blood. <laughs> Which is interesting because even though we had visual pink blood, they still refer to the blood as being red in the dialogue. But they're not doing that anymore, I guess. I don't know why. Cause if you remember when they were talking about Nagito's death, they said the strip on the Ban on the beam above him was red, not pink, but whatever. Time limit? What? What? Everyone will die? Oh no. What is this? What? That's not fair. How? Jeez, why did you guys even come to this school if we're not gonna do the killing game? Shut up! You're the one who forced us to come here. Um... Quick question, father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought we were up once time ran out. Huh? Let's do this. That's right, let the Essicals do their thing this time. No, no. But I'd rather not go through that again. I'd feel bad if you guys tired yourselves out. Yeah, but... But if we let the Essicals get popular, we could have a real cash cow in our hands, you know? Ah, uh, he has a point. The merchandising rights alone would make us richer than sultans. Hmm, sultans, huh? Very tempting, but... I won't let you kids ruin your futures! You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures! <laughs> Daddy. Daddy, you love us so much! Oh, That's enough! Oh, you're still here. Yeah? Of course, we never left. Why? Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? Hmm? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> <laughs> then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. You... Don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? You're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well, Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. Oh but the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Oh, yeah. And if they don't play, then they're dead anyway, and that's way more gore. I see. If it's gratuitous over the top gore, I might be able to stomach that. Forget the killing game then. It'd be better for you all to just die together. Shut up! Shut up and get back. <laughs> well, what you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> Man, father's in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Hell yeah! Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Monodam, go get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me, in the name of killing! So long, farewell! After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Um, what are we going to do? Nighttime in two days, we'll be here in an instant. Really? Uh, there's, there's gotta be something we can do, I can't die, the world needs my genius. 
like that. I don't want to. I don't want to die yet. Die? Everyone's going to die? Is dying the only choice? Says so. You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. Uh, that's after we die, right? Jeez. We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Well then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Shut up! I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. <laughs> I don't I don't. Understand. Figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. No can forgive. We gotta fight back then. Um... Yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. Uh, uh uh did you remember the rules I almost got Kaido killed? What kind of Akito moves even involve sneak attacks? Gonta wanna help everyone! Come everyone! Gonta use body! Keep everyone safe! Not cool. You're going to go against those machines barehanded? Isn't that too reckless? But we have to do it! If we don't, we'll die! But Wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all option all possible options. Terrifying. We've no time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting or die from the time limit. Stop it! Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna make it no matter what. Uh oh. Uh, no matter what? That's wrong. Wait, you can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. Oh. Then you'll accept the blame? What? Huh? Huh? Because... Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who will be sad if I die, I know. Um... Um... Well... <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I know the same can be said for everyone else. So that means... Anyway, I'm gonna take off now. Oh. Take off? Where are you going, Kokichi? Um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over alone. Okay. Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Oh. Mio. Mio. Is that how you say your name? I don't remember. I... Not that I tried to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> Talking to you idiots is exhausting. I'm gonna go to my room and rest. Why do I get the feeling that, um... Got it? The rock and roll Monokuma, Mono Kid, went to everybody's rooms and told them about stealing somebody's key to infiltrate their room and kill them. Thing. Miyu, you better not do anything shady, okay? Worried. There's no need to worry, is there? No one's going to kill anyone, right? Hmm. If someone is going to kill, they should just go for the robot. No way. That's even worse! Hmm, hmm so, so everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? How mysterious. <clears throat> of course, I know it to be against the law, but laws are simply rules people decided upon. This is a space removed from those rules, therefore, we have no need to follow them. That's enough! Don't say stupid stuff like that. Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense. However... Even if it is to survive? We are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? What? <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. So you've no need to fear me. Okay, if you say so. Uh, Kyo! Mm -hmm. Males and the soft scientists are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. If we want to stay alive, standing around grumbling is not going to change anything. Well... As things are, we're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? Stop it. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. All right already. You can decide that on your own. Huh? Huh? You don't know? Your half-done speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then... So, just come up with a plan for yourself. Okay, so who's gonna be the first victim and the first black dude? Wait, Maki, wait! Well then. I'm just going to pray to Atua. Okay, I didn't really think we were gonna have to watch everybody leave one by one. Yeah, can I just go and think by myself for a little? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. 
<sighs> or that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Oh, are you trying to give yourself an incentive to get back to the outside world so you can hide your porn? But wait, you guys! You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma! <sighs> everyone, what wrong? Why everyone scatter? <laughs> Fine then, all of you just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then can I even trust myself? Huh? Rintaro, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, he says. How should I put this? Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? No. Ultimate hunt? What is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Forget it. Huh? Huh? Hey, you can't say something like that and then not tell us. What do you mean, Rantaro? Oh, no. It's nothing really. I'm just a bit confused, is all. Hmm, Everyone is a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talents. I'm sorry. So I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. Okay. Something I do like about this game is that whatever pose they had at the end of the conversation is the one that they have on screen afterwards. That wasn't a thing in the other two games. They just kept the pose whatever they had at the start of the conversation. Rentaro? Without looking back, Rentaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Oh, thank God. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone. So why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and playing this entire killing game. It's all their fault. Oh, I actually have control of the game. Wow, I did not realize that. I think I need to like, transition us to our room or something. Um, hey, Suichi, what should we do right now? I'm... We need to move. Huh? Huh? Move? Suichi so slowly approached me, as if wary of his surroundings, and said in a hushed voice, well, that's... This morning, before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust on the card reader on the floor. Huh? You mean in the library? Uh, okay. Yes. So, when he said we need to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then... Suichi? Suichi, can I help you in any way? Uh, okay. uh, of course, Kai. But we should go. We shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What's the matter? What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? I didn't realize I had to speak to Suichi, but I guess we're progressing the story now. Uh, we're not whispering. We're just gonna check on something. Hmm. And that thing you want to check is a secret? Um, Sorry, all I can say is... Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys that we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I, believe in you. I see. Well, if that's how it is, then I believe in you. Thanks. It's not like me to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I work hard enough. Okay, I could talk to everybody else here, but they'll probably just grumble and mumble about the previous conversation or whatever. So let's just go to the library and talk to Suichi. I'll meet you guys at the library again. No, we have a cutscene. Are we heading to the library? I suppose yes, so. I'll tell you everything there. Okay, I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so we're back at the library. And let's see. Hmm. Hey. Alright, I'll explain everything. First, take a look at the card reader. Suichi said that he moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. I peeked into the gap of the card reader. The dust is gone! I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that it was used by somebody. Maybe they just cleaned it out, but they didn't use it. I'm... That's right. I checked it right after nighttime started yesterday and the dust was there. But this morning it was gone. So that means someone entered this door during nighttime? Could it be... That got me thinking. This may sound far-fetched, but perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to this door somehow. Huh? How so? If I remember correctly. Remember what Monica remember what the Monica said? Yes. 
this school has a machine that can make somewhere that can make a whole lot of pumps. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pumps as you want. So there's a machine that can build spare monokumas? That would explain why we saw monokuma alive and well in the morning. At nighttime, someone went through this door and activated the machine. And then there's what Monokuma just told us. Our time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. I knew it. The way he phrased it seemed peculiar. Why not just say everyone will die? Oh yeah, everyone who participated? He went out of his way to specify that students forced to participate will die. Um, huh? But why? That's true. My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate, but wasn't forced. That would mean that they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. Huh? And that person is the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma? That's... I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with rules, but if he is trying to protect someone... That would imply that they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? What? Because I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas, then they are the mastermind of this killing game. So the person who's responsible for all our suffering is one of us? Uh, okay. Of course, this is just what I've deduced, but it is entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now, they might all try to find the mastermind and be led to murder. I'm... That's why I could only tell you, Kaye. Mastermind, the one controlling Monokuma? I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be among us. It's hard to accept, but if it's true, then I can't forgive them. Oh. So, what do you plan to do now, Suichi? We're gonna find this mastermind, right? I'm, I'm thinking of taking the risk just before time expires. I believe the mastermind will come here just before time is up and I can expose them. Oh no. My prediction that Suichi will be the first one to die might be right. Wait, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? That's... I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. What? Mauled to shred by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine. Hmm. To produce a large number of Monokumas, the mastermind would have to come here. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. Well. Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk. But, but I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. See. Yeah. All right. And I'll take that risk with you. But, but Kai... Ah, uh, but Kari, this is just my deduction. It's possible that I'm wrong. Of course. Yeah, I know. But I've made up my mind. You told me about this, so that must mean you trust me, right, Suichi? Yeah. Then I'll trust you too. Ah. You know? I mean, I don't have a good idea of my own. So obviously I'll help you with yours. Mm -hmm. Okay then, let's expose the mastermind together, Suiji. Thank you. Thank you, Kai. You have a way of encouraging me. Mm. I never expected this to happen though. I can't believe our enemy is within our group hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now that everyone, now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. All right. But whoever the mastermind is will expose them and help everyone else escape. And when this is all behind us, we're gonna stay good friends. That's a promise, okay? Oh uh, no, the last time we made promises in this game, um, somebody died. Uh, okay. Right. Oh boy. I got the feeling the ultimate detective wouldn't last. After we reapplied the dust to the card reader, I left Suichi and returned to my room. Yeah, because in the first game, yeah, there was the ultimate detective, but her memory was wiped of what her special ability was. In the second one, there was no ultimate detective, unless you want to say Hajime was the ultimate detective, because he has a whole bunch of different abilities. But, yeah... I don't know. That's just my hunch that Suichi's gonna be the first victim. Or the first blackened, depending on how his uh, plan goes. Two days from now, at the stroke of nighttime, that's when the time limit expires. Until then, I guess I'll check on the others. I'm a little worried about them. 
We actually have free time! Oh my god, yes! Well, at the Academy, you will have free time every now and then. Wow, it took this long to get to free time now? During free time, you can spend time with other students to strengthen your bond with them. You can also give them a present to strengthen those bonds further. Wait, where do I get new presents from? You can buy presents at the school store or win them at the Mono Mono machine. I need to figure out where those are. If your bond gets strong enough, an intimate event might occur. Nice! But if you don't have but you don't have free time forever, spending time with someone passes time. You can also end free time by going straight to bed. By yourself, that is. I mean, I wouldn't skip it, but if you'd rather be alone, that's cool too. Okay, and we'll do free time at the beginning of the next episode. It'll give me time to gather presents and all that off screen. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you aren't subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.